Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick aside. I know this video is super late. It's not coming out anywhere near Valentine's Day, but hopefully you still enjoy it. I did have to send my phone in for repairs and everything, which if you've heard about, then you know what's up. If you haven't, then videos in the next couple days are going to come out explaining that. But Sorry it's super late. Hopefully you still enjoy it. There's lots of exciting stuff coming back to this channel. I know it's been a little quiet, but it's going to get a lot louder coming up here soon. And I want to give a quick shout out to Rozzy for being a Patreon supporter. So thank you, Rozzy. If you can, donate $1 a month, that's nothing, to Zach to the Future on Patreon. It helps me out immensely. Thanks, guys, and enjoy this video. What's up, YouTube? Zach's back with another attack, and today... Happy Valentine's Day! I know that you all are spending this day with your significant other or just being forever alone. But if you are on that latter end of the scale, then hopefully you enjoy this video and you can spend a little bit of it with me. So today, because it is Valentine's Day, we're going to be talking about some Kingdom Hearts shipping. Of course, shipping is where people want two characters, or even two people in real life sometimes, to get together in a romantic relationship, and they usually come up with some weird, cute nicknames for that couple. So, we're going to take a look at some of those today, but first, why should you never date a pastry chef? <laughs> because they'll desert you. If you like darkness and hanging with heartless Then you are not Sora But you may be looking for a channel to watch Zack to the future Okay, so with Kingdom Hearts shipping There's a lot of very, very weird stuff going on Including a lot of homosexual relationships Mainly between like Sora and Riku But... Uh, we may touch on that just a little bit, but all in all, I want to focus on some of the actual plausible ships within the series. Not that there's anything wrong with anything else, but I just don't think it's very likely for Sora and Riku to end up together. Everyone pretty much believes at this point that Sora will end up with Kairi, if anything at all. Disney is not the most known for having hardcore romantic relationships, unless it is Daisy and Donald, or Minnie and Mickey. So who knows if Square Enix is going to go that direction and push Sora with Kyrie or anything like that. But maybe Kyrie's not even going to end up with Sora if they go that direction, because a lot of people want Kyrie to get with Axel. Axel and Kyrie are of course training together in Kingdom Hearts 3 to become Keyblade wielders. They both just got their Keyblades and Axel has of course been using his chakrams and Kyrie has been asleep for a game and then using a Keyblade a little bit at the end of the second one. So now they are training together learning how to use Keyblades and becoming good members of the team. Training together means a lot of time being spent close together and maybe some romantic feelings budding. <laughs> now another relationship that a lot of people feel will happen is Roxas and Shion. But of course, Axel might swoop in again and take Shion because that's a trio and Axel is about as close to Shion as Roxas in theory. So I could easily see Axel and Shion getting together just like Roxas may feel like he should be with Shion. Of course, Shion is not a real person as of yet. A lot of people believe that she will come back in Kingdom Hearts 3 and if she's a real person, not just a weird version of Sora, then she'll be able to be with somebody. Likewise, there is a few people who have said that Shion might actually get with Vanitas. This is a very strange, mind-boggling kind of theory because, it, I mean, it makes sense because Shion and Vanitas are not whole people and they have a lot in common in theory, but they would, it would have to be a part of Sora in a way, like a fake Sora thing, and a part of Ventus and 
the whole thing is just very, very strange and probably not going to happen. Especially because Vanitas is hardcore a bad guy. And Shion is mostly a good guy, it seems. But if Roxas can't be with Shion, then I guess Roxas would want to be with Olette. Or even Namine? I think that's what a lot of people would like to see. Olette was kind of a very minor character in the second game, and Namine is a much bigger character to the whole series. And I could easily see Roxas getting with Namine. They were together when Sora kind of saw them at the end of the second game. So that could be a really cool direction to go. But honestly, dating Namine would be a nightmare. She would just put whatever memories she wants into your head, and she could make you do anything she wanted to. Who needs that? Save yourself, my boy. Not to mention, I think Pence and Olette needs to get together. Come on, Pence. Get yourself a good girl. Another major character that everybody wants to see somebody get with is Aqua. Now, probably not Ven. There's been some people saying Ven. I think he's too young. But she could get with Terra if Terra can be saved from Xehanort. That would be a very interesting thing. Of course, they did say they were more like brother and sister, so I don't know. But she also was flirting with Zack a little bit in the Olympus Coliseum in Birth by Sleep. So... If Zack is still around, maybe that could be something. Probably not, though, because in the credits of Birth by Sleep, we did see something happen to Zack involving Sephiroth, and we haven't seen him since, so I don't think that'll happen. What I do think could happen, if any relationships ever do blossom in the Kingdom Hearts series, is actually for Riku to get with Aqua. We've seen that Riku and King Mickey are going to try to save Aqua from the Realm of Darkness, and I think that could be a great starting point for Riku and Aqua to get closer, start blossoming some emotions for each other, and really get to know each other better, if you know what I mean. Oddly enough, I have heard some theories that Sora is going to get with, like, Ariel or something, the Little Mermaid. I think that's completely crazy. Nothing like that's ever going to happen. Not only do they have people in their own worlds already, but the original King Mart's character is never going to date or be romantically involved with a purely Disney character. That's not how Disney rolls. It's just not going to happen. So let's get all those ideas out of our heads now. And finally, just to kind of end this video off, I will talk about a few of the two pairing of men and stuff that have gone on within the shipping communities of this series. And the main one is, of course, Sora and Riku. There's a lot of pictures. If you want to look at that, you can. I'm not going to post any. But that's not going to happen. I don't think this game is going to go that direction. And I really don't think that they would be even be a good fit. They're best friends. They've got very like clashy personality types. And it just wouldn't work out. Likewise, a lot of people have pointed out that Sora and Ventus have a thing. Yes, they have a thing. They are essentially connected. They, they're part of Ventus is in Sora, which I guess is a good basis for this. But I think that would just be weird. People have said Sora and Roxas. That's even weirder because that is essentially Sora with himself. And one question, if Sora dates Ventus, is that like him dating a hundred-year-old man or something since he was around in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross times? And to end it all off, just because I don't think just because somebody's bad means they should be unhappy, I think that Xemnas and Zigbar should get together. I, I'm shipping those two. Those two are a great couple, Xemnas and Zigbar. You saw how Xehanort looked as Zigbar. But anyways guys, hopefully you liked this video. I know it was a little bit weird and different, but I gotta do something for Valentine's Day because there's so many ships within the Kingdom Hearts community that it's not even funny. But anyways guys, I'm Zach. Don't you do crack, do love on this Valentine's Day and I will catch you in the future. And I will catch you in the future.
Bye.